Hello everyone, I made this video as a response to one of the viewers of this video interfacing SM32 boards to ROS using ROS serial protocol and the name of the viewer is uh, Asaf Weisman. I hope I pronounced it right and he is asking how we can uh, compile, build and deploy the example on this video using the toolchain with make files if I take one more look at the comments, I saw a comment from Julio BC that it would be nice if I write some description about how to configure the STM32 cube ID. I hope that uh, an older video of mine on this channel it will be helpful because here, let me mute this, because here. I'm showing how to install the STM32 cube ID and how to create a first project with it and also to select the board. So here you have to type the name of your board or the name of your microcontroller if you go to the first tab and start a project from that. And also you have to install the Cube MX software to, to generate the libraries. Also, I'm doing this video because, because I want to do the same steps on a Raspberry Pi where I will show you how to install a Jenkins server and create a DevOps environment where you will build, test and automatically deploy your software on your board and run some smoke tests also automatically using the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. I will present here how to install the ARM toolchain for Ubuntu, how to create the make file for the STM32 project that I have on the video, and we will flash the hex to the STM32 board and test the result. So let's get started. First, what I like to do is to run two commands sudo up get update and after that sudo up get upgrade after the upgrade is complete we can go to the develop arm tools and software and the, the download web page i will put a link inside the description and we shall download this file right here we can click on it to download it using the graphical interface but I want to show you how you can get it using the Linux terminal to install the application that we need we will write sudo apt get install wget password if you have it already installed it will say zero upgraded zero new list installed zero to remove and zero not upgraded so now let's continue further let's change directory to the downloads folder let's go here right click on this copy link location we will write wget and we will paste the link i recommend to delete all of these numbers until question mark and press enter and wait for it to be downloaded now let's list the contents of the down, downloads directory we see that we have the archive so now we need to unpack it so for that we will use the command tar dash x gf and the name of the file gcc i will press a tab for auto completion and press enter after the unpack is finished let's go to the root directory make a list here let's go to the opt directory make a list here we can create here a directory named gcc dash r so let's do that 
let's put also the sudo command so now we will have also the gcc arm directory let's go back to the downloads directory so that's in the home folder and downloads and in here we have the folder gcc and inside this folder we have these uh, other folders so let's go back and uh, let's move contents of this directory to the opt gcc arm directory press enter let's go to the op directory now if we list we'll only have the directories that were inside that folder now let's export to the path this bin folder so for this we do export path equal op gcc bin yes bin now we can echo the path so to see that the bin directory was added so path is a unix variable so you have to put this dollar sign and here it is we have the gcc arm bin folder added to the path we have also the rows and these are other things that i have add to the path now it's time to see if we have the c compiler and the c plus plus compiler so for that let's write arm non eabi gcc dash dash version yes we, this is the c compiler now let's see if, if we have the c plus plus compiler and indeed we have now we will continue to create the make file and to download the project from the git so first let's download the project from the git let's see if we have git installed we have it if you don't have it you know what to do sudo apt get install git and this is how you install it let's create a folder here we are in the home directory so you can go to the home directory using the change directory and the tilde character let's do a directory here i'll do a folder named stm32 make project let's change it to our newly created directory let's make a clear and let's download from the git so let's see where is this project located we need to copy this address right here we can press this copy the address and we can write here Git clone. We put the address, press enter, and here is our project. Now, what uh, I recommend is to use an already existing template from STM32 base. So, here there are templates for F0 boards, F1, F2, F3, F4, and so on. So, let's clone this uh, repository also copy the link git clone and here we have it we have two clones 
one of my project and one with the templates for the Mac file. Now I recommend to clone one more repository. So if we go back to the SM32 base repository, we see here some templates. In my case, I have a F4 microcontroller, so I'm going to choose this template. And I am interested inside this template about this make file. This is the main make file. So this shall be in the root of your project. But uh, let's clone the entire repository. So now we have the SM32 base and the main template. Now what we will do, we will create a new directory. I'm going to use the graphical user interface. You can still use the terminal. So I will create here a folder named makefile project ros chatter and inside this folder I need this main make file so I'll copy this I will put it here and from this base I need all of these three folders And from the chapter example, I will copy only these three folders. You don't need the startup, you don't need the linker description files. They are already contained by the STM32 templates. Now we need to edit the main file. So we can open that with a text editor. We see here the name of the controller. In my case is 446. The flash starts from this address. I want to, to use the CMC's libraries. And we see here that this will include the STM32 base make common. But uh, I already copied those uh, folders. For now, let's save this file. Let's proceed to the common file. In here, if you didn't define a device or a flash, it will give you an error. But we have those defined inside the main make file. Let's proceed further. STM32 base path, Q path. Or I think it's better, uh, let's not keep this. We will delete those. Here the linker is inside the root folder make also inside the root folder make sure you, you have a dot and a slash bin folder where, where it shall be created yes in the root folder root folder source and include if I go back to my main folder I see here that I have source folder with the uppercase S and the ink folder with the uppercase I. So I'm going to do that. After that, we see that it will include the from, from this make folder the series folder name. So that means it will be this make file and it will check for which device is selected, in our case it will be this and it will include the, the series folder for this uh, device so it will be this 
So from this folder, it will include this common make. And in here, we can see we have defined the series CPU and the series architecture. So this uh, two are defined here. We will see them inside this uh, common make file that they are used as flags here, as C preprocessor flags. So here is the series CPU and series architecture. Now let's proceed further with this file. Map device, it will be equal to the device. Tool chain path. We, we don't need this. We have added our tool set to our path, so we don't need those. So I'm going to delete this. Next one, we see a preprocessor flag. We we'll leave it as it is. We see a C language flag. We will not use the C compiler, so for now we leave it like that. These are C. So what's with C X6 are flags for the C compiler. We see some more preprocessor flags to enable all warnings and some extra warnings. If you want to know more about the flags. I will leave a link inside the description. One of the link will be this. So you'll find a lot of information about flags. You can search inside here, for example. Let's take a flag. Let's take this one, which is very important. And search it inside this uh, website and here it is the description of it so you can check this uh, website and uh, see what each flag will do now let's continue further here are some debugging options flags here are some more flags this will define the map device which in our case the map device is the name of the device in here I will add one more flag and that will be CCP flags inside our cube ID configuration we had uh, those flags so Here are the flags. Also, I'm seeing here another flag, so I'll take this also. And I will put that, let's see where. Warning. Overall options. So above this. Here is the base linker. It will take the description file. Here we have some include directory options. If we go inside our ink directory, we can see that we have the folders for the ROS library. So we have to include this also for that. So here they are. So I included each folder. Next, this will be defined. This is Okay, let's go further. Here we have the name of the output, L file and the binary file. We leave it them as they are. Here we see the input files. This will, will include nothing. And here it will append this source folder. In our case, this source folder is the folder named with uppercase S and it will append all the C files but we also need to append the C++ files here will be the starter file so this is an assembler file next we have the 
CMC's library. It will search if we have defined the CMC's or the SD hall. So this is from the main file. We have it here true. So that means that this will be included. But I want to do it a bit different. So I will uh, remove this. I know that this will I will remove everything and I will copy paste it how it shall be. So the CMC's file are inside the drivers folder. CMC's include. So we can go here inside the drivers. Here is the CMC's folder. We see here that we have device and this include. Also we have this include. So here is the include folder and here is the device ST, STM and the include folder again. Next, hardware abstraction layer drivers, files. So I'll uh, again uh, remove this uh, logic because I want to include them for sure. So where they are? They are not really in that folder because if we go back, we can see inside these drivers the folder is named STM32, and here we have this includes, and here we have some source file. So I'll put it like this. So we have included our driver folder, this sync and this legacy folder, and we have searched for all files. In with extension C and we add them to the sources. This is our comment and this is the target. We have a target named all, one named clean and one named flash. We see that the targets have some prerequisites and uh, these prerequisites have the following commands. So in here we see that this uh, is invoking the G++ compiler, but it has the flag minus C, so it will only compile and not link the object. And this will do the compilation. And here we will extract the binary file from the elf. So yeah, pretty much this is it, the make file. Here we have the clean commands. And here we have the ST flash command to write to the board. Let's test it. Save the file. Let's list here. So we have created the make file project. So we'll change directory to that uh, folder. And inside this folder, we have the folders from our Git repository. And we have also the folders from the STM32 base repository. So let's invoke the make command. Let's um, now after the make command, we shall write the target that we want to do. So we want to do all. The compilation has started. We have one error. And the error says that this um, this new used in the system calls it's not really a parameter why is that because new is a keyword for c++ language to fix that error we need to go to the source folder and that is inside the this sys calls so it's better to to name this differently so new i give it another name it doesn't matter Let's call again the make all command. We still have one error. Okay, so the error is pretty obvious that uh, it doesn't find this uh, folder. And uh, inside this common make file, we let this in here. So we have to delete it. And we need to tell it to find where, find inside the root folder and the drivers folder. Inside that drivers folder, we have this folder and the source folder. So press save again. 
will run again the make all command and uh, it's finished if we go back to the make file we have here two folders one named object and one uh, binary and here we have the binary image if we don't uh, want this in binary format and we want it in in hex format we need to change this binary here into i hex and by doing this we have this in hex format but we didn't change the name so the name is with the bin extension bin but this is the hex format so this uh, hex format file let's change it back to binary and to change the name you already guess it so it's from here if you have some troubles uh, when trying to build the code and it tells you that it doesn't know who is this unsigned integer 32 you might you might take into consideration adding to this uh, directory options to include also the standard C++ libraries for example you can write here these lines and this will include the standard integer library and this you will do with other standard libraries we saw that this make all it's generating the binary file it's creating the binary file we saw that this make clean is removing these files now we need to see that this flash is working but before this you need to install the stlink tools so for that you need to do sudo apt get install stlink so there are two options to, to install stlink guy and to install stlink tools so to install stlink tools in my case it was already installed so now what we can do is to call the make command with the target flash but first let's connect the board to our computer so it was connected but it was connected to the windows so i have to say from here that i want to be connected to this virtual machine where i have this linux operating system now you can see it was connected to this uh, operating system so now i can do the make flash so everything completed successfully but let's uh, edit the file that writes to our terminal from here hello world from stm using make file toolchain let's write it like this we need to build again the project let's make a clean so make clean make all and make flash so the flash was completed let's open a new terminal let's start the ROS4 open a new terminal now let's start the ROS serial node so it was connected now let's open a new terminal and uh, right here ROS topic echo chatter so here it is the data is coming from the stm32 board and the software was made using the makefile toolchain now if you want to use another toolchain maybe you don't like this uh, makefile and uh, how this scripting language is written you have uh, a couple of options so inside here i have answered here it is so here are other build tools one of it is the scons which is written in python so if you are very good at python you can make your build tool with python one is make which we have used one will be the cmake so this cmake it is used by the ROS if I remember correctly, one is make IT jam, you make 
Maven, Maven and Gradle, I saw it used with uh, Android projects, so for mobile phones. Stay tuned to the channel, maybe someday I will also make a short tutorial about this Escons. I have used it, so I know what it does. This make and maybe a more extensive tutorial about the make files. But until then, you have this uh, web page with the flags, and I want to share with you another web page that will also be inside the description. And that page will be the GNU Make Manual. So in here, you will see how everything is put together inside a make file. Here's an example of a simple make file. So you can start reading this manual and you will be expert on make files. Thank you very much. This is the end of this video. If you like it, press the like button and subscribe to my channel.